the old god demanded six sucklings. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. You's the one brought soured wine. Curse is your fault as much as mine. What are you doing here? What? The sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the old god, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, then cursed the old village. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, tis ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. And suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground. Demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm-hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this all god of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Anything new? So long. Oh, all God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Scent. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me?
A crack. Too small to pass through, but big enough for sound to come out. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the all got to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be... corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curds and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter I found shelter here. Built a fire so large the flames leapt through the crack, lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke, and suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and Melitale then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, giving naught in return? I talk at least. Got an idea how to resolve this. I'll just kill you. <laughs> Anything new? Got good news. Your god's dead. It was actually a run-of-the-mill monster. Sentient, but mean. Took advantage of you. You went hungry, while it grew new chins. What have you done? The old god warned us? Said if he ever departed, death would await us all? Come on, Tribor. We must tell the others. Only group prayer can save us now. Day. 